Hi, first of all, thanks for the uh, lab tech for inviting us for this expert talk. So this is Mahesh Dupali and I'm having experience of 19 years in uh, telecom and the IT sectors. So when I started my career in uh, 2003 or 2004, that time I commenced, during that particular tenure, there was a major, you can say that slowdown into the market. So I completed my engineering in electronics and telecommunication. When I came out, that time there was very less opportunities over there. But still, I never ever dwelled and I say that this is not the correct, right way to start my career without any type of job opportunity. But we started as an uh, initially to join one of the small company where I can learn more and more about the core technologies. Then I got a good uh, break in the telecom companies like I work with Reliance Communication, Tata Communications and uh, some of the small sectors, uh, uh, you can see that companies I work over there. But when I started my career that time there are multiple challenges we faced it. But Currently, the people is having the online portals everywhere available. They can go and they can search it. What are the new options are coming into the market? They can analyze and after that they can take their, or you can say choice, their career. How can we go into the future? So first of all, I want to, to tell one more thing because uh, I am the uh, expert, you can say that, where I'm visiting to the multiple colleges for uh, project evaluation or you can say that uh, uh, project guidance purpose to multiple colleges I uh, uh, visited in the past, where I observed electronics telecom, because my main core subject is electronics and communication. That's why I used to visit many of the colleges, where I observed that the people from electronics and communication, they mostly in the flow of, of the ITs. But my sincere suggestion to them that they also look into the electronics background, because if the person is completing in his electronics and telecommunication, then it's okay. He can take the job at any time into the IT sector. But what I'm feeling that there is some gap between the student's understanding and the current trend which is going on. So what are my sincere, you can say, that recommendation or feedback to the people or to the students that they have to understand what exactly their background and after that, they are going to take the IT knowledge. That is like a bridging the gaps between two domains over here. So that is very important. For that reason, if let's example, on, I will give a general trend into the market. Let's say example, the people should, or you can say that students should think about the next levels. Like if uh, I'm giving an example, uh, the real time example is the one of the, I think, best uh, thing to explain over here. We used to go every day by car or by bike or any type of vehicle. That time, what we observed that we will uh, stop our vehicle on the traffic signals. But if you'll see, but every system is a manual right now. And this is a mix of maximum electronics and the electrical. But if you'll bring IT over there, let's say example, there are four lane junction is there. So if we'll use AI, so let's say example, the density of the uh, crowd or you can say that vehicles is very high, then definitely they have to get their first priority to go, uh, uh, to cross the signals. The density where the uh, vehicles movement is very less, that should give on the next priority. So such type of mixture that if we'll bring into the day-to-day uh, -day life, or you can say that day-to-day -day your industries, then definitely it will be the bridging gap between our you can say that uh, electronics domain knowledge as well as an IT. So that is one of the key thing I just want to highlight over here. So people has to think in this way. So in another case of example, I will tell you that people are moving to the cloud. What exactly cloud? Some people don't know because when I started to evaluate these people or these students, that time I understood that these people are doing some projects into the cloud, but they don't have that much of understanding what exactly they have to do into the cloud whether they have to go to the Azure Cloud, Amazon Cloud, or Google Cloud. So they have to understand. See, this is a cloud platform that they are going to build their future into the future uh, into the job industries. That time, they have to understood what type of cloud I need to choose and why I need to go with this one. They have to fully focus in that particular technology. Everyone is saying that the cloud will go uh, uh, long extent where 
this will be one of the you can say that major business churn coming into the future that's why people are moving to that particular segment but also they have to understand that apart from cloud you guys also think about the hardware behind that cloud what type of hardware using why this is using how it is getting used so my request to the electronics and telecommunications should know that they can also focus on the embedded system this is one of the latest uh, you can say the technologies you can say the semiconductor business that most of the we are depend on the chinas so why can't we think in this way and we have to do some design thinking as well if you will think in this particular direction then definitely the future of the students will be a very good and they can you can say that uh, learn and learn and they can innovate something and they can implement into the future just don't focus on any of that uh, you can say that particular technology you should be well versed with each and every vertical of the business then only you will be the successful person or you can say that entrepreneur uh, in your uh, life career let's example if you are going to start i'm just giving example into the uh, students aspects itself when they will take any type of project there are multiple phases they have to go it Let's example, in, we can call it in the project management that project initiation, planning, design, execution, monitoring, control, and close out. So such type of multiple phases or iterations that person or even student has to go through it. But they never ever understood that particular concept itself. Teacher is going uh, is telling that you need to work on one of the project and you have to deliver it as a part of your uh, uh, curriculum. Or you can say that uh, a demo perspective but this mentality they have to throw about it and have to think how i am going to present that particular project in front of the examiner so that they can able to clearly articulate the things so that everyone can able to understood what is the context and why this particular uh, you can say that project has chosen to deliver it that is also important so in my summary i just want to tell that student those are who are going to complete their engineering or they are going to complete in next one year they have to either focus on the artificial intelligence cloud computing and even though you will talk about the machine learning that is also important but apart from that the dedication and the focus and the flexibility that is also one of the key role to manage yourself and you can represent in front of the larger audiences that is one of the takeout that i can share with you okay uh, i just want to give an example i was outside of the country for three years and what i observed i am just trying to share with you see i was in germany for three years i saw you already aware of the german engineering and how they are collaborating over there see these guys are having the masters in the mechanical but right now they are already moved into the electrical as well as in the IT. So I will going to give an example. I was just going, uh, I am using the taxi, that time I was in the car. But when I asked, because I was not able to see in type of sound, I thought this is a, a electrical car. But he said that no, it's not electric car, this is hybrid car. But he started the car. Till 50 kilometers per hour, that car was working on the electrical or you can say that uh, on the battery mode. After, ultimately ignition will get started. The people who is having very much interest into the speed, they can definitely take a look on this particular example where you will not find that this particular mechanism will get switched from the battery to the mechanical. Why? This is due to the IT. So IT is bridging the gap between you can say that mechanical and the electronics or you can say that battery operated systems so this is another classical example for that one so that's why i'm just thinking electronic students should not think that i just have to concentrate on the it industries they can think about their core knowledge as well they can't say that no i am very much interested to learn the it yes you can because when you will go outside, when you will get a job into the IT industries and if you have the complete core knowledge of the electronics, then definitely this would be the added advantage for them. So my sincere thinking or together feedback that you should not neglect your core knowledge. That is what the 
uh, thing I want to clearly call out over here. Apart from that, there are multiple uh, you can see the options available apart from IT as well. I'm not saying that IT is a good or bad or very much excellent technology that we are using. But this is one of the bridging the gaps. Apart from that, if you talk about the telco sector, telco sector, you know that how the revolutions happen. Initially, we are using small mobiles where we can just have to talk and after that you can just send the call. Right now, every person is having the smartphones. Every person is having the data free connections how this generation you can say that uh, evolution happened because people start to think about their out-of-box thinking due to that this is possible it's not like that telco sector is a growing sector and they are growing like anything and it is you can say the combination of it it is having one of the excellent example in our day-to-day -day life so I'm just giving an example. Let's say example, you know that IoT is one of the technology. How the IoT, that is Internet of Things, is used for the smartphones. Let's say example, if you want to book any type of tickets or any type of, you can say that, transfer the data from one system, physical system, to another system, how it works, that is due to the IoT. So the combination of IT and the telecom. Right now, the, we are talking about the uh, 4G, 5G, that is your 20 gig speed. 1 gig speed or uh, 10 gig speed how it's possible this is a revolution of the uh, wireless technologies most of the time you know that you will visit into the you can say that malls or something you can say that any type of you can say that uh, big auditoriums you are able to get the wi-fi signals for there. how it's possible this is a revolution so even though in future what will happen that you will not see any type of cable at all everything will be the wireless so such type of things that you need to understand better and how to grow yourself. Even though initially we'll talk about the securities. Why? Because every device is ha need to be a secured one. So for that reason, security is one of the biggest aspects for uh, uh, the human beings. If you talk about the network security or cloud security or you can say application security, security is very much needed. So even though this particular, uh, you can say that field is also open for the electronics engineer or computer engineer or IT engineer, they can also think about it. Most of the times I am seeing that uh, the people who are uh, doing their education, sometimes they are not focused. But if you will see that the person is very much interested in the security domain, then definitely it will be the biggest, you can say that open market to them as well. So let's think in this way so that you can also get an opportunities, but be focused, be motivated and concentrate on your goal. That is very important. You face the challenges, but how can you recover from the challenges? That is also important part for the students. If you not dedicatedly working on that, then you will not get anything. But apart from that, you can also understand the basic principles, basic understanding of the technologies that is very important as well. That's all. So uh, it's enough for the uh, initial discussions. Whenever I will come next time, I can bring some more uh, details in front of you so that you can grasp the things slowly. So one more aspect I think we are missing that is uh, green evolution. You know that the uh, world is uh, revolving a lot and they are thinking about that. How can we minimize the pollution? How can we, you can say that uh, minimize the utilization of the energy? Because you know that India is still lagging into providing the electricity uh, to the customers or the consumers. So here you know that every company initially they set their own data centers. That is called as on-prem data centers. You know, one data center op operations, it needs multiple of, you can say that kilowatts of energy that we need to dissipate over there. So how can we recover such type of vestiges that is a new concept came into the market that is a cloud computing where you can get all the you can see that uh, contents in one data center where all energy consolidations will happen let's say example there are 10 data centers are there by each and I means different different companies if all the 10 companies will come and they can keep everything into the one data center then definitely you can minimize your uh, you can say the energy and you can efficiently work on your core businesses if i'm just thinking one example of the mechanical industry or uh, it industry or any of the industry what they are doing they are 
mainly concentrating on their actually they have to concentrate on their own uh, focus on their own core businesses the data center is part is a substitute for them so why should they have to invest it rather they have to go to the market they have to take the some you can say licenses from the cloud service provider either it's azure amazon google alibaba or huawei whoever it may be and have to dump all your data over there so that you can whatever the energy consumption is going to happen or green energies has to be uh, reduced that you need to be taken care appropriately so that it will be the you can say that good for the human being and as well as the you can say that uh, our uh, earth as well so in the nutshell i just want to emphasize on some of the you can say that uh, advantages of these uh, sectors this is related to the green energy it is in the form of solar uh, you can say solar wind or solar energy and even though second point i am just thinking about the consolidation if you talk about the hardware consolidation and definitely this may be reduce your wastages and even though whatever the utilization need to be done for the devices that will be the up to that will come up to the mark and even though third is related, uh, related to the uh, electricity if you know that the generation of elect, uh, electricity is very costly so here if we will all the you can say companies will come together under one roof then definitely it will save the electricity which india is needed a more so that is also one of the point i want to tell you and last is related to the focus on the core businesses because sometimes due to uh, it's people are thinking that this is like a overhead so let overhead get rid of onto the cloud and whatever they have their product or they want to do some innovation they can focus on it so this is what i i want to try to say over here so this is what i have thought this is one of the key learnings for the newcomers how can they explore their life how they want to create their your domain experience that create a massive destruction into the market so in that way every student has to think in this way and go ahead and best of luck thank you